A Queensland Christian school has revoked a controversial enrolment contract that would have forced students to identify with their birth gender. Claire Todd Hunter is live for us in Brisbane. Claire, take us through the backflip. Well, Ash, City Point Christian College was due to be reviewed today by Queensland's non-state school accreditation board after complaints were made to the Education Minister about this controversial contract. Uh, if they were found to be in breach of a requirement to treat students equally, the school could have risked losing millions of dollars in funding. Now, there has been widespread uproar all of this week about the contract, but in a video message released by the principal on Tuesday night, he refused to apologise for it, stood by the content, and defended them, but did extend the deadline to uh, sign that contract by two weeks so parents would have more time to get across the contents. Uh, he does appear to have changed his tune, though, releasing this statement in the last couple of hours. Uh, Pastor Brian Mulheron says, We deeply regret that some students feel that they would be discriminated against because of their sexuality or gender identity, and I apologise to them and their families on behalf of the college. I hope that by withdrawing the contract, we can return all of our focus to the Christian education of our students as we begin this new year. Now, Queensland's Education Minister Grace Grace had become quite emotional speaking about this contract earlier in the week. She says her own child is non-binary and she welcomed the news the contract would be withdrawn at a press conference last hour. Yes, I just heard before the press conference that City Point has withdrawn its contract. Can I welcome that? I called for that on a number of occasions this week. And can I um, um, obviously urge in the interests of the mental welfare of students, staff, parents and carers and in the public interest that they abandon these contracts and that they never resurface again? Now, Prime Minister Scott Morrison indicated earlier today that some amendments would be made to his government's a religious discrimination bill to prohibit such contracts from happening again in schools, that such discrimination. He uh, did make it clear he did not support it. My kids go to a Christian school here in Sydney and I wouldn't want my school doing that either. And um, well, the bill that we're going to be uh, taking through the parliament um, uh, will we'll be having an amendment which will deal with that to ensure that the kids cannot be um, discriminated against on that basis. So LGBTIQ community and its advocates have welcomed the news of the contract being withdrawn over the last couple of hours. They do say there is a long way to go after stories emerged of the way the queer community was treated at the school.